Recently, I took a few months to live. This time taught me a lot of things that I don't think I would have learned had I not taken that space. Now, I think that I'm ready to embrace the journey in full. And I can't wait to share that journey with you. Wow, wow, deep breaths, deep breaths. I've tried to film this video once before and it didn't work. I think part of it was because I was rushing, trying to spill out everything and that's not how I want to deliver information to you guys. I want it to be intentional and slow and thoughtful so here we are. Uh, it's very interesting because I'm not very patient when it comes to many aspects of my life, actually. And I know this is not a therapy session or anything, but whenever I do take the time to just let things breathe or let things marinate, I always come to a better resolution than what I had originally. But the thing I wanted to talk about today was mourning the person that you used to be. This has been something that actually my partner had to bring to me and tell me, not tell me, but um, kind of give words to the feeling that I was already having. I have felt as if the person that I am right now, number one, I don't know who this person is. I don't know who I am becoming and I can look forward to whoever that may be. There's still a level of anxiety and nerves that comes with just like not knowing what you're turning into and feeling like maybe who I was was my peak or a better version of myself, not even my peak, just a better version. During the last few weeks, I've been going through a lot of different emotions, a lot of different changes in my personal life. And I don't even know why I smiled because honestly, it's like, it's been a very tough few weeks of me reflecting and trying to understand, better understand myself. I have so many, so many different things to just unlearn and to work through. And before coming into this phase of my life, this season, I really felt like I was good. Like I felt like I had things together. I had gotten to a place where things weren't perfect, but they were normal and I could manage whatever it was that I was dealing with and that somehow I didn't need to ask for help still. For about a month, I was going to therapy and really just trying to work through my immediate issues but in that i kind of found that i had a lot of other aspects of myself that i was neglecting like my friendships my relationship with my family other different things that i really felt like i wasn't giving enough love to while while on that journey of trying to find find out exactly what was wrong and trying to address it when i did know I learned that, you know, I was mourning myself. I was mourning the person that I was and not accepting who who I am becoming. And also accepting the fact that this new person is just as amazing, just as inspiring. I really didn't feel like that. I think it's interesting because I have been in so many different rooms and even now I think the lens has just expanded so much more where I felt really small like whenever you finally graduate from middle school and you enter high school and now you're a freshman again you're a newbie again and everything you kind of have to relearn or create for yourself one thing I was really battling with was the fact that before I was able to get so much attention and so many likes and so many retweets on my content and my videos, I was able to attract such an audience and I felt like now in this new phase 
Like they might not like me. <laughs> they may not like what I want to put out. And you know, that sucks. It sucks when, when you're passionate about something new and that audience doesn't transfer over. It's crazy because I look at it in so many different ways. I'm growing and evolving and I was hoping and wishing and just kind of just hoping, wishing that things would work. Honestly, I don't think that I don't think that I gave myself a chance. I say that because I stopped creating. I think the last video that I posted was three months ago and that person that person was still trying. During that time I did not have a job. I was the job and that was fine by me. Like I just wanted to be able to have my own business and create um, for myself, but you know, reality kind of set in. And not reality as in, oh, you're not gonna be able to do this, but reality as in, these are the resources that you have and this is where you are. And when you put it together, does that create an environment for success? Not exactly. And I felt that, I felt that heavy. I was not as happy as I tried to make myself out to be. I was struggling daily trying to figure out, okay, how was I gonna make this work for me? Because I wanted it to work so bad. Prior to that, I was posting a lot more. Um, I was creating a lot more, but I was creating things that I felt like I needed to create in order to get to the next level. I know that there's a part of me um, that, <laughs> and I'll speak to this a little bit more later, but I know that there's a part of me that has a fire and a passion and a skill for that, but at the end of the day, what am I really supposed to be producing and what speaks to my audience the loudest? And it's not that, it just isn't. There's a special reason why the things that I had been creating before had really spoken and resonated and still do. It's because it was so authentic and true to me as a person, and I can never change that. It's not something that you can learn. It's not something that you can tweak or hone. It is literally the human experience, and I couldn't wrap my head around that being enough. It did not feel like I could do that and say that and make my little videos just talking about whatever I was feeling and whatever emotion that I had and just let that be enough. As I stopped creating the things that I allowed to be my escape or my form of expression, I, I started to silence myself and it's hard, it's really hard to, um, to get that back. It's hard to get that back um that that creativity that drive and motivation and more than anything the vulnerability i had never seen myself like watching the videos back now never seen myself in such an authentic place in such a vulnerable and open place and i think that our life experiences take a lot of that vulnerability away they kind of push us into this box where we feel as if we have to be palatable and we have to be digestible and we have to be able to capitalize in some way off of whatever it is that we're doing. It's never been that for me. And whenever I started to try and create that to make it something, um, something monetizable, I feel like I feel like that's when I lost a lot of myself. Money is not the goal. It's never been the goal. It's it's the lifestyle. It's the ability to be free mentally and physically. It's the ability to be able to express, to reach someone else through this screen, literally through recording videos. That's all I wanted to do. And I was hoping that that would be enough. And I think that the thing that got me was um, just seeing that it was possible and wondering why didn't I give myself that chance. I watch so many different YouTubers on this platform and recently it's 
become more of a trend almost to have just more authentic content um to have less lights and glamour and high quality video while that's great and it's pristine and it's beautiful it's just something about a video that was taken from your phone of you in the middle of the park just spilling out whatever comes to mind it's something about that that authentic feel that is just you cannot recreate that in a studio i feel like throughout my entire youtube experience journey whatever i have tried to be that girl the girl who has the best quality mic and camera and lights and studio and whatever those are not the videos that i feel the most proud of the videos that i feel the most proud of are the ones that i literally got the idea on the whim went outside with one camera and a tripod and just shot whatever whatever i felt whatever i saw and those are the videos that have literally created the platform that i have today i've been trying to return to that place another thing i had to come to terms with was the fact that it doesn't matter if i do not make one other video everything that i have already created lives on it lives on and some days it will get picked up more than other days and sometimes i'll get a message from one of you guys you know telling me how how inspirational this was and how relatable and how you felt connected to something you know in some days it's crickets and that is okay and it may not it may not reach the same caliber as it did before and i i have to be okay with that because still i'm still doing what i need to do and i'm still walking in the purpose that i have and it's okay if it's not on a grand scale i think six thousand people like right now i have six thousand subscribers that's a lot of people like that is a lot i don't think that should be taken lightly and i take it lightly every day every single day and you know <sighs> I wish I didn't. I wish I saw myself for who I really am every single day and I wish I believed in that person. But right now, I am trying to relearn. I'm trying to create things that resonate with who I am right now. And I'm trying to still believe that that is enough. I didn't want to get on camera for very for a long time because I felt like, <sighs> I felt like this person wasn't someone worth sharing. Who I am right now is a developing person and I've made a ton of mistakes, a ton of them. I do not feel like I am a example of how to live because I'm still trying to figure it out but I do think that I am human and that my experiences are not isolated experiences. All of the negativity and the criticism that I have experienced, a majority of it has come from myself. Right now, even in this moment, I'm trying my best not to critique other aspects of myself if that's one step closer to being better and getting better then that's okay with me there's no resolution to this video the message is just to trust the process as cliche as it sounds trust the process and it will lead you to where you need to be you know thank you guys for watching this video if you like videos like this then please let me know in the comments below um thank you thank you for 6k what crazy um thank you all for joining my journey and i can't wait to see you again okay right.